Hello everyone, I'm Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2018 UTV International Track Digger Derrick Bucket. This is an awesome machine, it has an Aveco diesel, it's 123 horsepower. The machine itself only has a 14, little over 1400 original engine hours. This is a very nice machine. We call the manufacturer, it's well optioned with just about every option you can get. I think it was over $400,000 when it was new. Uh, today we have it at a fraction of the price, obviously. Uh, but overall, a really, really nice, versatile machine. Being a 2018, it feels very tight, feels very nice. Uh, it, it runs, drives, operates as it should. There's no issues, no quirks with this thing. We've gone through it. We've checked it out. We made sure everything works. It's a 45-foot working height on the bucket. You've got a large capacity digger, Derek. you got the auger bit. Uh, I got a spec sheet for this thing. Tracks are in nice condition. Uh, overall, the machine's in great shape too. Now we did do a little bit of paint work on the outriggers. As you can see on the side here, we did a little bit of touching up and some paint work. Uh, just had a little bit of wear showing. There was no major rust. It ran, drove, and operated when it came in. We just made sure everything was working correctly and made sure it was serviced up and there was no abnormalities with it. It's 100% ready to rock and roll. Everything on this machine works. We've got a front winch. We've obviously got our digger winch. Um, the manufacturer is very helpful. If you ever need any parts or anything for this thing, We've got our push blade off the front. Uh, we're going to show you how this thing operates. We'll switch the cameras. Robert's going to get inside the cockpit here and just show you. There's a lot to see with this machine. So this might be a little bit of a long video, but it, uh, it's a lot of a package in one. It's, it's really a nice machine. And it starts right up, and you'll hear that in just a second here. Now, it's not super cold today, but the thing did start right up and operate. It's very, very powerful. You can see the hydraulic blade just kind of picks it right up. It's a very nice machine. It truly is. We've had a couple of these things now. I really like them. This is great for line work, going off-road. Very maneuverable, easy to see around it. Now, UTV International, they put out, I think they told me they put out around 50, to 100 of these machines a year so they pretty much know what the machine is when you call them you have to give them the three digit n to the serial number and they'll know exactly what machine it is parts are no problem to get so that's a, a big plus in my opinion <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the mic so you can actually hear this machine. The whole ball operates as it should. Like I said, we have a tip winch, tip winch there. Everything on this machine operates as it should. As far as we can tell, we've got work lights, LED lights, caution lights. You can see Robert's in the hot seat there. Again, the original cost, this machine has just about every option, uh, is what UTV International told us. So it put the price of this thing a little over $400,000. You see we've got four hydraulic outriggers. They're all operated from the rear pedestal where Robert's sitting off the rear there. So you've got a 45 foot working height to the top of that bucket. So you've got a you know, bucket truck and, and a digger dare all in one. The auger bit's in great condition. 
operates as it should. But just a really cool machine, a nice and tight machine. Robert's going to go ahead and extend out our boom there. There you have it. It's all done pretty effortlessly by the seated controls there. Obviously you have upper controls as well, but we just wanted to be able to show you all the functions in this video without being 30 minutes long. can be done from the seated position there. Uh, hooking the strap back up, obviously you gotta get off your control there, but like I said, the auger bit's in nice condition. Teeth are in great shape, it's dug right up. Gonna have to fix that later, but uh, it does what it's supposed to do. You can see the Pull claw there, it does tilt, opens and closes as it should. And all we really did was just standard service on this machine and also just painted it up and looked nice. It wasn't really bad to begin with. A lot of people probably just would have left it alone, but it just looks really, really nice now. Again, Robert tracks show a lot of life left. No major hydraulic leaks that we see. There's really nothing that we can see at all in this rig. You see our tip winch and up and down. It's like a synthetic winch. While he's doing that, we'll show you the interior. I'm not going to jump up inside here. It's kind of two-hand operation, but I'll get you. At least you can see our controls. Now, this is what operates. Uh, it operates a lot independently. So each track uh, has a control. So you'll push this one to go forward. And if you want to go forward, you'll push them both down and both back. So they operate independently, uh, similar to a lot of other track machines. You can see we've got a digital display here, 14, 18 on our hours. And we've got a whole bunch of options, the auxiliary being the PTO to operate. Uh, that's a switch, it's just a uh, auxiliary to operate everything in the back. We've got a whole bunch of lights, horn. So. Power controls, high speed, low speed, you've got your throttle there. You've got a heater, no air conditioning that I can see in this rig. This is a camera. Um, comes on, I don't know if that is that is working, so that might be the, the only thing that's not working on this machine. I don't know if it's busted, but we can look into that. Got a windshield wiper, all your glasses in nice condition, got an interior light. And we do have an escape hatch up top, so get out of here if you need to. Um, but a really, really nice machine inside. This is your air conditioning here, nice little fan. Uh, seats in good shape. There's nothing notable to say about this. You got your horn. Winch control down here. That is a 16.5 I 
that wind. That's a big boy. BP 16,000 pound, 500, 16,500 pound horn winch off the front. Robert's going around down here. You can see the work lights working up off the top right there. You got a caution light as well. Everything's nice and caged in so you can feel safe inside here. But to operate this thing, it's a complete joy. Uh, really thought it'd be a little bit cumbersome to operate it, but the controls for the tracks are very precise. There's not a lot of slop with this machine. Even on the digger controls, when you're seated and operating the digger and uh, bucket, it's very, very tight. It's very nice, kind of what you'd expect for the hours in the year. Uh, it's a great machine. It's, it's got very low use, very low hours. Uh, and again, if you need any more information on this machine, UTV International is very helpful. Uh, they gave me a full spec sheet on this thing, which I attached in the listing. It's got all the serial numbers uh, and the information for the digger and boom but you can check this piece of machinery out on our website which is lewistrucks.com that's l-e-w-i-s trucks with an s dot com i can ship this machine throughout the united states call me and i'll give you a quote on that we are lewis motor company we are located in clarksville maryland which is just outside of baltimore maryland again our website lewis trucks l-e-w-i-s trucks with an s dot com Got this machine, I got some other diggers on there. I've got some bucket trucks, service trucks. We do commercial, that's all we do. Um, I've had a couple of these things. We know what to look for. It's been service stuff, mechanically checked. It's ready to rock and roll. Call me, we'll get her sold to you. Thank you guys for watching.